Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Tinker77, and we are back on my create world. And uh, it's been a while, hasn't it? It's been a very long time, actually, about uh, two weeks, I think, since I posted another video. And I want to let you know why, and that's because I've had some audio troubles with my computer. Um, I have purchased some new equipment, and so I'm talking on a new microphone. And I hope that everything sounds okay uh, in my testing and tweaking. I thought I got everything right, um, but we'll see how this turns out. Uh, so let me know what you think about it, and... Uh, yeah, so anyway, let's get into this. Okay, we're gonna look at where we left off here, and we left off with the quest. We're gonna go into here and go to the Alluring Expedience, and you can see here we've gotten all the way down to the Painted Quartz Mixer, which makes these, uh, what are these called? Polished Rose Quartz. And it looks like now we have to do this chain going clear around over till we make the uh, Electron Tube. So we have to make a Cobblestone Generator, and then I think we go here is when we basically mill that down or grind it down into gravel. Then we have to wash the gravel, which produces two things. It produces flint and iron. Then we have to smelt the iron down and then pour the molten iron uh, into uh, the device that makes these electron tubes. So I'd like to break this up into two parts. Really, I want to stop right between here, the break between where you have the iron and where you melt it, because really that's one contraption. Take the cobblestone that you get from uh, a cobblestone generator. You uh, use the millstone to get that all down into gravel and then wash the gravel. So I'm going to work on that first. I think I'm going to do something a little bit different here. So let me get some materials and we'll get started. I've created another windmill here. And I've also added this uh, speed controller, which allows us to increase the speed of the this rotation is going off of this cog wheel here. This remains the same. So you can see here, if I uh, go over to it, I can see and change the speeds. And that will start to go really fast while this goes kind of slow. So we have two different speeds for this, but this allows me to control it so we can get enough speed out of uh, the device when we want to do something, okay? So I'm going to work on this project a little bit backwards here. So I'm going to put right now, I'm going to put a, a chain drive just because I think I might want to put this uh, out this way a couple. And so we'll do that. And then what I want to do is I'm going to have the device here for the fan that will do the washing. And we're going to do that first. So let's see. I need to get a gearbox, not a vertical one, a regular gearbox. Let's put that right there. And that's not it. <laughs> here we go. I really should use my, uh, my wrench for that. But there's the gearbox. We're going to put the encased fan here. We're going to put it right there. And you can see that's going in the uh wrong direction um so we need to basically put another gearbox or a vertical gearbox on that and then it'll change its uh direction so we'll put that one right there and now if we put the fan it's going in the correct direction you can see that now we do to have some uh material here i guess i should go get my dirt i'm gonna put a uh the water on top of a piece of dirt and then we're gonna have it go this way i really should have this whole thing lowered down i cleared this out thinking that i that i need to clear it out maybe i don't uh, i'll go get some dirt Okay, so I've made this uh, setup here. I'm going to put these pressure plates right here, and we're going to put the water on top of this dirt block. Now it's going to be washing. Now, the thing I've decided to do was, you know, sometimes you got to wait for this to see how long it goes. And because we're doing just cobble, and it makes two, or gravel, I should say, and it makes two byproducts, iron nuggets and flint, I'm going to put a double drawer here, and I'm going to put a funnel on that so that it should uh, only pick up those two items. i got to get the items set in there and lock it in. So what will happen is, oh, I can't put that there. Okay, that's fine. Doesn't like it there. Then I will just put this uh, one block over. Grab that. There we go. Okay, I thought it would let me put it right over where the pressure plate is. Put it right there, and we'll put this here. And that is going in. Now I just put a piece of iron nuggets in there and also a piece of flint. And it will then only pick it up once the gravel has been washed. So it will just flow along here and wait and wait and wait. Let me get those things uh, set up. Okay, we have our uh, drawer here. I'm going to put an iron nugget up top. I'm going to put the flint down here. And I'm going to lock this drawer. So that should be the only things that it picks up. And now I'm going to climb up here. And I'm going to throw in some of these four pieces of gravel. Uh, actually, I'll just do one here, and it should flow through here. We can see it's there. It's still waiting to be washed. It's washed. It's sitting there. It's waiting. And then as soon as it turns into uh, the other pieces, it gets picked up. And you can see here we have one nugget and one flint. So maybe it didn't get washed into anything. Is there like a chance that it doesn't? I will check again. Let's just throw all of this in here. And we'll just do this again real quick to see if we have more than one of anything in the drawer. But they are being washed, which is good. And you can see that it disappears and it gets picked up. Okay, so what did it pick up? We have an iron nugget and one flint. So I guess that the, uh, the gravel, if we look at the gravel usages here, um, 
and we go through washing, it says one of them will give you two nuggets and a flint. But I'm not seeing that because I only have a one nugget and one flint. And uh, it's not, I mean, it is working, but it's not working the way uh, it says it would be. But anyway, that way I can then filter this out. I can just go off of this and say take out only uh, one piece or maybe both of them and put them into separate storage drawers. That's pretty awesome. I'm hoping this will work. I took this area here. The intention is to put a funnel here, which will take their output onto this belt. And then I'm actually splitting it out into the piece that has just the uh, flint and the iron nuggets. This way that can combine, this is kind of filtering out gravel. And then after this, it gets over here and filters, filters them out uh, very specifically. So I've tied them all together here uh, using this chain drive, big long chain drive. And I did this gear mechanism to get it going the right direction. So if I put this funnel in, it should start. Let's see what it does here. There's an iron nugget, and that's what we care about really the most. We don't care about the other pieces. There is that one, and then the flint and everything else gets picked up separately. So this now really divides this whole system up. That's excellent. So now we get from this chute right here, we need to have the output of a millstone, and that millstone will be fed by the cobblestone generator. I've put a millstone on top of the chute, and then I took this vertical piston, or sorry, vertical uh, gearbox, and I put some more of these chain drives in over here, and I'm going up to this location. I'm going to put a gear right here, a cog wheel, and it's going, it's kind of going kind of slow, and that's okay. We can just speed this up a little bit, because so far we're, we're not using that much of the, uh, of the stress. So let's go up to 64. You can see that's going pretty nicely. Now, let's go over here, and I have... Uh, 28 cobblestone on me. I don't know where I got it. I just grabbed it from my inventory. And uh, let's see if we can put that in here. I'm just going to drop uh, a bunch of that. Let's see. It's eight points of that. And it should come out of there. It should be there. You see the gravel going out. It's getting washed. It should come out here. You should see some pieces going into here and coming back out. There goes some of the iron. I saw a piece go there. And this is working. This is great. So now we just have to have all of our cobblestone generator output, the cobblestone, going into this, and we should be good to go. Okay, here's what I've got so far. I have a belt down here. You can see it. And the intention of the belt is that it will be moving in this direction over the chute. The chute will go over the millstone, which I took out of here temporarily, and then it'll go down and do the rest of our system the way we had it. Now, up here is uh, what I'm going to be making is a cobblestone generator with four drills. These are the drills are facing inward. And I have stairs here that are waterlogged. So basically the water will flow. And if there's lava on top, it should then with the drills moving, it should automatically do the uh, make that into uh, cobblestone. And I'm, I'm hopeful that they will then drop down onto the belt which will get them out of the way so that this can then form more cobble. And this belt will just keep on moving into uh, the chute over here. That's the intention anyway. So I'm going to hook this up and just do a couple test runs here, uh, see if this works. Now, I know I've got a lot of scaffolding blocks here. I'll remove those. But basically, I've got this set up here for the lava. So I'm going to take out this piece right here. And now I'm going to put in some lava, and we'll see if this works here. There, it made some stone. It gets converted into cobble. And I'm hoping that that goes into there automatically. Sounds like it is. You can hear it going. You can hear it working. And it should be outputting some things over here. Let's see if anything comes out of this uh, particular funnel. There's some iron. So that's working. So I think if I just get the other pieces of lava in here, this will be working out great. Let me get that done. Okay, well now we can see we have a problem here. It's going a little bit too slow because uh, you can see I'm spitting cobble out everywhere. And that's not good. So let's speed this up some. Let's go... Oh, now we got too much stress. Let's go back down a little bit. 112. 96. Is that going to work? No. 80 is as fast as we can go. So we may not be able to... Let me clear up all this cobblestone. We may not be able to go as fast as I would like. Uh, but hopefully we can get this without <laughs> making more of a mess. Can't get to that. Where is it? There it is. Okay. Let's keep an eye on this. Let's see if we have uh, any cobblestone gets uh, dropped out. But it looks like it's running pretty nicely. Look at how fast it's going. Okay, so it still isn't going fast enough. Look at this. You can see it's already backing up. Probably because this gets all backed up. So uh, I may have to not use so much uh, lava. Let's put a piece of uh, something in here just real quick to slow it down a little bit. In fact, I'm going to put two pieces to let it catch up. Um, we I've been dumping cobble everywhere. It, it, it wasn't. It's going too fast. But, I mean, we're getting the job done. We definitely have... Uh, the mechanisms done for the quest, but uh, we're, we've got a bit of a mess here. 
Yeah, it's a bit of a mess, but it works. Okay, I'm gonna clean this up a little bit, leave it at one for now, and then we'll complete the quests. Oh, you don't wanna be there. You're gonna get all squished by the gears. Alrighty, let's go and look at these quests again, because we basically have done a lot of this already. We definitely have this contraption to get cobblestone. We have gravel. Uh, we've had gravel. Uh, do I not have gravel? Let's go see if I can pick up a piece of gravel. There we have some gravel. <laughs> Just like that, and we did that. And then we have iron nuggets. Let's grab an iron nugget. There we are, and we have that one as well for this quest. Okay, and this, so basically what we have left to do is we have to melt the iron and then pour it over this um, the quartz to get this uh, electron tube. If you look at the electron tube, all it is is just taking molten iron over this with a a um, spout and over a depot, and then we have it go over and make the electron tubes. And that's what I would like to get done today. So we gotta pipe this into uh, some sort of uh, melter. To move things around, I have been moving them with belts, and that is great and all, but I would rather use some sort of pipe. But now that we have brass, we can make the brass pipe. You get eight of those for two brass sheets and a piece of brass. So I'm going to make up a few of these uh, right now. And that way I can use some piping because we really need to use that instead, I think, for these items. So let me get some of those pipes made up. For making those pipes, we get a reward, which is a brass pipe module. Now, these things are really nice because you can use them to make the various upgrades you want. And we want to make right now a low extraction module, which you just put it into a stone cutter. This is kind of like saying, hey, the pipe is extracting from this particular point going to a different point. So we're going to grab that right here. We're going to take our module here and we're going to get the low extraction module. There we go. So the idea being that we're going to take probably maybe even take this smelter and put it over there. Why not? Let's just take it right now. There we go. <laughs> While I'm talking about it, might as well do it. Take this over here and we're going to bring it over this way and we're going to take the items from the this particular drawer right here and bring it out. And that way we have a way of getting the items out. So let's put a pipe here. And put a pipe here. And then we want to have our smelter, right? Yes. So we'll put the that right there and this right here. And you can see it connected up pretty much fine. And now what we can do is we can take the uh, low extraction module. And you can open this up by right-clicking. And you can put it in here. And you can see there goes the... Uh, Iron nuggets, that's what we need to get down into a liquid form, and that's excellent. So the next thing we got to do is we got to pump this out into, I would like to make a tank to store this. We could put it directly into a spout, too. Uh, either way, we're going to need a pump, so let me go get those pieces. Coming off the top of the uh, smelter, I'm going into here. I know this is set up wrong, but we'll see how it turns when I engage the gear. Going into a spout over a depot, okay? So the thing I like, I love belts because you can do something like this. You can take a shaft, there it is, and from this to here, you can just use a belt to power this. This is very easy. But now we are overstressed. We will have to slow it down. That kind of happens, you know. So we'll have to bring it down to 64. There we go again. It's a little bit slower, but you can see it's, it's just powering this up. That's perfectly fine. And now it's going the right direction. And you can see the iron did come out and it's inside of the spout. So if we were to take one of these right here, just do a quick test and put it on here, just like that, it then formed an electron tube. Oh, that is excellent. Now, so we do have the iron done. Let's go and go to the quest and turn that in, making the iron. We've made a contraption to do that. Um, I have to get a can. Uh, let's see. Three copper to make a can and put it. I had to do that first, really. Okay. So we'll go get a can. That was weird. It said I got a can, even though I didn't fill it up. Uh, does that count for the quest? I guess so. That's good right there. And we know we have the uh, this contraption to make this yet, but we haven't finished it. So I'm not going to check it, but we do know how to make electron tubes. Really, all I have to do here is, I believe, is take the output of here using a pipe and put it into the depot. And then we got to get some way of getting it out of the depot once it is an electron tube. Okay, so that's uh, the next step, I think. I'm just going to run the pipe through here. I still got to make an extraction module from there and probably another pipe and another extraction module. So uh, let me get this all hooked up. We're going to need two more of these modules. So let's put this on up here. We're going to get two more of those. There we go. Now, what I've decided to do here is I'm going to use a storage drawer as a filter for the... Uh, the electron tubes, yeah. So it's going to be coming from this direction over. So I'm going to first put that in here, the, 
like that and I'm gonna grab my key and lock it there we go and now let's put another set of pipes um, I still haven't made the pipes yet okay let's go <laughs> go grab the uh, pipe material from the uh, the press over here pipe material pipe material the uh, those things <laughs> oh no don't do that there we go oh it's still gonna go down haha <laughs> I tricked it there we go and we'll make some more of the pipes. That's what I need right there. Okay. So the idea, though, is that we're going to take the output of the depot, but it can only be electron tubes. That's what I was trying to do here. And so if we do that and we put an extract module on it right there, that's good. So that should be fine. It can only take electron tubes. So let's test that out right now. Let's go grab another piece of this rose quartz and uh, make sure that it goes right here. Okay, and it should go in there. You can see that, and they go on through. It did not take them until they were done. Okay, that's fine. We're going to put another uh, pipe right here. And this pipe is going from the uh, rose quartz over. And I went down just to make sure it doesn't connect up with this pipe. I know it looks ugly, but that's that'll work, I think. And if I put the, this uh, low extraction module here, you can see the pieces will start coming out. Now, I'm not sure if they'll stop, if they get backed up, how that works. But hopefully, this will bring that over into here and start making this system up for us. Let's see how it goes here. Should appear on it. I'm hoping there it is. And that's it. So we have just automated this process. So this thing is still kind of going at a speed that I don't really care for. It's um, because of this millstone. I think I can probably make that go a little faster, maybe to keep up. I might try to do that here in just a second. But this is working. So let's go and mark that off. There we go. We definitely have this right here, which is the electron tube, okay? So we're getting close to what we need here. Basically, the next step, and we're probably going to do that in the next uh, episode here in just a little bit, it's going to be the where you make these uh, new contraptions, these precision mechanisms using a, uh, the, looks like a screwdriver to make the brass machines. We'll get that done in just a little bit. Let me go see if I can speed this up and get this kind of solved. It still looks ugly, but I did get that to go a lot faster. Uh, I had to really bring this down to 48, which isn't very much faster than what you would normally have, but it's working. I, this is not a great power source. Hopefully soon when we get the brass, we can start to make some better machines to give us a lot more uh, energy that we can use. But uh, the system is running. It's creating, you can see it's doing that. It's creating the uh, electron tubes there. Oh, that's awesome. That's working great. So we have, how many already have? We have one stack and 21 already. Uh, it's excellent. Now you can see things are just kind of bouncing back and forth here. It's decided that it can't use those. It's putting them back, and it will keep on working as it goes. So this is awesome, guys. This has been a great little project, and I'm glad to get back into uh, Create. So again, I'm going to look back here. What I'm going to need to do next time is to make the precision machines, and I believe there is stuff after that that's a second part. But uh, we're going to make this, I think, in the next episode, okay? So guys, I sure hope you like this video because uh, I'm back. New audio. I hope you like it. If you do, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comments section. And if you would like to be notified of the videos that I produce, please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you get all those notifications, okay? Thanks, guys. Have a great day, and bye-bye.